Hello everybody, I am Braven19 and welcome to episode 37 of our Polish campaign in European vs. Alice 4. I kind of noticed a little bit of a weakness with Russia there in between episodes here. If we look at Russia right now, they are down, they are behind in morale by a good bit and discipline. And then even though they're higher in infantry and a little bit more in cavalry and in artillery, as well as mercenaries, they are well behind in manpower. So a quick victory against some of their infantry, cavalry, or artillery, they're going to start getting depleted quickly. Um, even though they have a hundred more force limit than I do too. So I think I have a chance. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. What's the worst that can happen, right? I'm actually going to increase my morale a little bit. But I'm going to wait for some of these cores to get done too. It's very important that that overextension goes away. So I'm going to let that kind of continue along. Let's continue. Yep, get some of those out of the way. We're definitely going to have some estates getting close to done, by the way. We'll let Crete change. I can change it back. There goes Salistra. Change Crete back. Very high unity change for that. That's fine. Norwegian separatists are getting higher. Yeah, I think they'll go away the, the quicker we get along. Hello, Car Josie. Thank you for uh, subscribing, my friend, and following. All right. All these cores. Up, oh, they popped up here. Let's get on over to them. Ah, oh, just barely too far away. I think we're good everywhere else. Let's do it. Okay, fall on back over here. To Stockholm. So I think that's the Norwegians actually firing. They're Swedish still. Which, if I look at our stability, no war exhaustion, there's just a little bit of that. Let's go ahead and do this 10% more to uh, morale of armies. Check out what they've got. They've risen manpower that much that fast. Okay. Crimean separatists. We'll let try to help those guys along too. Everybody's getting in a position. Did I just read that right? We're we're ahead of them in military tech too. Spain would join if I were, pro were to promise them something. What would you want, Spain? Italy formed, by the way. He 
know, what does Russia have that you want? France isn't that far behind now either. They're in debt, but I think they could easily replace it. Spain would definitely join here. Same here. Let's do it. Here we go. I'm con I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to work. But we're going to try. put somebody in charge up here another military leader le left us just at the start of the war Come on, Spain. I need all the help I can get. Take Pisgah before you know it. Let's hit this right here. Come down here. Go to Luki. Let's go on over here to Vib uh, the Borg. I don't know where the Spanish even are, but I could use them. Hi, Mushi. Yes, give me that manpower. Three hundred ninety-nine versus two ninety-seven. Ninety-two. Yeah, we've got them outnumbered. We just gotta hope that we. Uh, Just gotta keep our men our men around. Oh, they ran for Viborg themselves, so we're going here to Novgorod. Siege of Moscow. Uh, 
Now they're going to try to jump on this. Good job. Come on down here to Tula. Now, how are they looking? Manpower's at 88,539. Send him over to here then, since... I mean, we're... These guys are really pushing to get the uh, forts with me. Go for that. Bohemia doing just the best they can do to help. Appreciate that completely by him. would appreciate like a smaller army coming in to help just to kind of wrap up stuff behind the lines for me I don't know if I'll get that Siege of Ryazan, Ryazan done down here let's come on over to Muno Trying to take some higher development provinces too. I mean, has got a lot of forts in here, but after that, he doesn't really have a lot. We'll kind of let some things slide. Rostov. Go on there. Because I screwed that up. Go to Kashin. Go to Yuriev. Yeah, I think I'll take some of that. No big deal. Yeah, I haven't done any. I've done all this without really any Spanish help, so that's good news. There's some Russians off over here, but that's not really important. Go to Miram. Ten army tradition for free. Let's go there. Go to Ladoga. Yaroslav will finally they knocked out my ships We have rebel uprisings, the Swedish, 
Probably will actually jump on the Russians when that happens. Use that to our advantage. Let's come back here. They've won Kalmar. Spanish appear to be arriving. Let's come back here to the Borg. Stockholm right on top of those Russians. There's a siege of Kazan done. Let's go for that. That's the furthest eastern one that they've got. Well, within the region. Well, maybe the furthest eastern one altogether. Russia's not ready to give up yet. Though they have been losing some troops. Yeah, Great Britain has just been added as an ally of Russia. Okay, let's try to get Russia out now. Um, so to get this one achieve one mission, really just need this Poltava. So there's at least that. Gets me a little bit. Not a 100% peace deal, but it's still fine. And then we'll get Circasia out. It's going to be just fine. Lose two war exhaustion.
Smash are coming back. Uh, loose prestige is fine here. Let's go for that. As for you, I want you to be a war reps. I think you're fine. There you go. There we go. Nice little victory there. him here there you go everybody moving into position somewhere now then I need to look into how to get this lat this one little mission here. Kijal. You need at least 20 development. There you go. Pretty close. Or he is, he's actually there. Um, five provinces with development at least 10 in west or east and upper. There's one. Two. Three. Four, there's five that completes it, gives me local unrest reduction. That means the only thing left is breaking the roost, which I mean, really is just fighting Russia over and over and over. Probably will never actually get it, but I mean, still pretty cool. Okay. Not bad. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go in this one right here. Not a bad little episode. We uh, attacked Russia finally, and we actually took territory finally. Um, it wasn't much, but it was something. I mean, it was better than taking nothing off of them. Um, I have a feeling that we won't be that lucky again. Great Britain's joined up with them. So, uh, so is Italy. That's going to come down to like, oh, we need to fight Austria. Or something to you know, fa you know, face off against Pomerania. I'm not sure. Just breaking off Austria and Pomerania would be fine for this war. Our future war. Yeah. Austria is being guaranteed by Italy. Yeah, Italy just came in and allied like everybody. 
declaring a war on Delhi. It's really itty bitty. I'm not really worried about him. There's moves to be made, but biggest thing is we just need to start getting. We need to start really caring about our tech. I mean, we have five or to six more tech in certain groups that we have got to get as quickly as possible. So I think that's what we're going to end up doing, focusing on that. And uh, yeah, so all right, guys, appreciate y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check the link for Discord in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.